Hello, I'm Mike Barker. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, I, I work for Life Data Labs, and for the past several years now, I've traveled across the U.S., and it's been my privilege to speak with horse owners about different hoof problems. And, and one of the uh, major issues that the horse owner often mentions are hoof cracks. So today we have with us Dr. Scott Gravely. And Dr. Scott, Dr. Gravely has been a practicing vet now for 20 years. Uh, he's also a certified nutritional specialist. And Dr. Scott's also been involved with Life Data Lab for 20 years as well. So welcome, Dr. Scott. It's good to be here. Uh, my first question to you would be, what are the different types of cracks? There's primarily four different types of hoof cracks that a horse can have, uh, and they're named depending on their location. Uh, toe cracks can occur, uh, quarter cracks, and heel cracks, and bar cracks. So let's take a look specifically at the quarter crack. Uh, okay. Uh, how, how would you define a quarter crack? Quarter crack course occurs in the quarter of the hoof. Uh, quarter cracks often originate from the coronary band and they work their way down. They can also originate at the, uh, the ground surface and work their way up. Uh, quarter cracks can be quite severe. If they're involved in the coronary band or if they're deep, of course it can create some lameness or some permanent uh, hoof defects can occur from quarter cracks. And I think the horse owner would like to know what causes the quarter crack. Quarter cracks can be caused by uh, uh, numerous uh, conditions. Uh, genetics are one of the primary causes of quarter cracks. Uh, uh, breeds and horses that have long toes, underrun heels, and thin hoof walls like the thoroughbred uh, are prone to develop quarter cracks. And part of the reason for that uh, with the long toe and the underrun heel uh, is the tubules in those uh, in the hoof wall is running more horizontally with the ground, uh, whereas in a, a, a average horse or a, a one that's less prone to quarter cracks, the tubules are more vertical in nature. So the horizontal uh, tubules and the thin hoof wall um, just create a lot of mechanical stress on that hoof and can predispose that horse to a hoof crack, quarter crack. And what are some of the other reasons that we would have a quarter crack? Well, going from wet conditions to dry conditions uh, uh, can severely affect the integrity of the hoof wall and make it brittle. Uh, and uh, then the, there again, we have the mechanical forces on the hoof wall, uh, hard surfaces, a horse uh, working on hard surfaces uh, is mechanically uh, prone to hoof cracks. Um, poor conformation, uh, limb conformation, uh, poor balance, uh, whether it's the hoof or the limbs, can uh, predispose a horse to, to hoof cracks. And, and what about an injury or anything like that? Does that... Uh... Oh, definitely. Injuries uh, can create a hoof crack, uh, and injuries to the coronary band can uh, actually cause the hoof wall to grow down uh, much weaker than it would normally be, and uh, that, that a weak hoof wall is more prone to cracking at that area. Does that quarter crack always start at the coronary band? It doesn't always start. Uh, quarter cracks often do, uh, but it can start at the, uh, the ground surface, and uh, hoof walls that are weakened by uh, bacterial and fungal infections uh, at, at the uh, ground surface, can, they, a quarter crack can certainly develop there. Who should the, the horse owner contact or get involved uh, with the treatment of a quarter crack? Certainly the farrier. The farrier is going to be that horse owner's best tool, uh, best treatment for that hoof crack. Uh, and if it's severe or if the farrier you know, deems it to be necessary, get the veterinarian involved. And the farrier veterinary team working together can, is, is your best option. And as far as the horse owner, is there anything the horse owner can do to either help with the treatment or the prevention of a quarter crack? Horses that do have a quarter crack, that uh, owners needs to recognize that uh, the farrier is going to have to be out there, you know, treating the horse and rebalancing it at a, on a more frequent basis than a horse without a hoof crack, without a quarter crack. Um, the the owner can also uh, nutritionally 
can help strengthen that hoof wall uh, by giving a good hoof supplement and good nutrition. And uh, the, uh, these hoof supplements will help the hoof grow out faster and the hoof wall is stronger. So it, it'll help treat a horse with a hoof crack or a quarter crack and will also help prevent future quarter cracks from occurring. Uh, is there anything the horse owner could apply to the crack itself uh, to aid with the treatment? Yes, the, these topical treatments, antimicrobial treatments are important uh, in that the, uh, the hoof crack uh, is a good area for bacteria and the fungal organisms to invade. And uh, if there's a, a, a hoof crack and uh, the, on top of that the microbial invasion which commonly occurs, uh, that hoof crack's just going to be slow to heal or you know, you'll have difficulty getting that hoof crack to grow back out. A, uh, a topical treatments can be liquid uh, and there's also some of these antimicrobial clays that actually stay in the hoof crack for a longer period of time than a liquid topical. Uh, the uh, antimicrobial clays can also be used in wall separations uh, and that, that helps prevent the microbes from invading and tr treats the microbes that are already there. Thank you, Dr. Scott. And thank you for being with us today and we would certainly welcome your questions, your comments, uh, and you can go to lifedatalabs.com to contact us. Uh, keep in mind that we've only touched the surface when it comes to quarter cracks, so if you need any additional help, uh, please seek out uh, the assistance of your local farrier and your vet. Thank you, Dr. Scott. Thank you, Mike.